Hello everybody, I'm back to my dream field again. <laughs> After finding the brooch or the fibula, I had to come back here immediately because uh, it was yeah, very exciting and uh, a premiere for me. So I'm hoping to find similar stuff today, would be great. Yeah, uh, just follow me and I'll be back when I got my first find. After finding a few cartridges, I found something decent. It has to be um, some kind of leather decoration again. Here you can see an iron pin going through. Here it, uh, yeah, it was some kind of attachment, I don't know, but it's it's very innate, like, uh, I don't know, it looks very interesting. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, I can't tell you exactly what it is, but it's, it's old. <laughs> Great find. This could be a Roman minim here. And it is one. Beautiful. I'm not sure. will be hard to find details on it, I think, but uh, it is a Roman minimum. Oh, lovely start into a metal detecting day. First this old metal uh, thing, this uh, leather decoration, and now a Roman minimum, great. Very nice and loud signal. So it's in the in the loose topsoil again, which is uh, very nice and comfortable. <laughs> Don't have to dig here. Oh wow! And this should be the next Roman minimum. Let's see. It is definitely a coin. And uh, it is a Roman minimum. And I think, yeah, I can see the head here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but here is one eye and the nose. Here is the head. And on the back side, yeah. You've got uh, patterns here, I don't know, but uh, oh, lovely second Roman coin. This uh, condition here right now of the field is perfect. Uh, it's can you see these lines here? Um, it's perfect to orientate on them so that you have a good overlap and can detect well. And uh, yeah, the soil is very flat and moist, and uh, that's why I have very good detecting uh, 
um, conditions right now. Beautiful. Here's my next find and again it's very ancient looking. It got in hook shape, I don't know. And uh, here are patterns, some lines. And you have this beautiful green patina that is very common for uh, ancient objects but uh, not necessarily <laughs> um, maybe i'm just a bit over optimistic at the moment but yeah can't tell you what it is it's a fragment maybe somebody of you got an idea please comment would be nice Look at this interesting piece here. What could that be? <laughs> it looks old. Very interesting. No idea what it could be, but obviously uh, this part here was on this side too, or I don't know, but uh, something snapped here as you can see. Very interesting. and. I mean, it, it looks ancient. Please tell me if you know what it is. <laughs> I have to wait uh, until I have my next appointment with the archaeologist. Uh, maybe I can send him an email with a picture of it, but uh, he's very busy, so... Yeah, maybe you are faster with your information. Amazing. First I thought it's a coin, but uh, then I flipped it over and you got a big number here, number 16. And on this side, you got the number 10 and some writing I can't make up at the moment. Maybe some kind of a token. guys what's going on today uh, it's a oh, I don't know <laughs> look at this here that has to be a coin a Roman coin oh my gosh it is a Roman coin again a Roman bronze coin And it's in good condition, I think. That's all I will do for cleaning right now. On this side should be the head, I think. Wow. Here, some writing as well. What a lovely day three Roman coins so far 
and uh, other ancient looking relics. It seems as if there's only ancient history in this part of the field. I, I, yeah, the modern trash <laughs> is missing, you know, <laughs> totally. I only dig ancient stuff. I'm quite confident right now after this beautiful coin and this is a coinish signal again and uh, here it is <laughs> and it's a Roman minim again oh, this is a hot spot here it's amazing yeah you I think on this side you you will be able to see something later. It's another Roman minim. Oh, I think it has to do with the condition of the field right now. I said it before, it's very flat and the fact that the farmer plowed the land again uh, yeah, brought up some new stuff here because I was detecting this area before but at the moment it's just amazing really let's try it again No, but this time it's a piece of lead, I think. Yes, it's a piece of lead. Here we have the next coin. Look at the imprint and I, I think it has to be the next Roman minimum. <laughs> it's unbelievable, unbelievable. I'm speechless. What an amazing day. Look at the good finds. And look at the trash I found so far. I can't complain, can I? Really loud signal here. And look how, how high I can uh, hold the coil above it. Yeah, it's maybe a 50 caliber cartridge. They give lovely signals. But it has to be in depth. Still in the hole. Oh, as expected. 50 caliber cartridge. Wow, what a signal. Guys, I just wanted to do a live dig and now I'm very disappointed that I didn't do it. Look what I just found. It's Roman silver again. Roman silver. What a beautiful coin. <sighs> what a great day. What a great field. It was in the loose 
topsoil of the field. I got the signal, I grabbed a handful earth and I swiped it over the coil and there was a signal and there's a coin. First I thought it's an 1800 silver because it's so thin. I've never found a Roman silver coin that thin. But then I saw the details. Look at the head here. Oh, it's so great. <laughs> I hope you don't hate me, guys, really. But believe me, I will give them to a local museum. It's not about keeping these coins and having a nice collection at home to boost with. Really, that's not the case. Believe me, please. It's it's these moments exactly what I'm experiencing right now, you know? Finding coins like this, finding history, it's all about that. I'm addicted to this feeling and, and that's the reason why I do this hobby. Uh, I hope I can convey the excitement I feel. And yeah, look at the coin. I will give you a close-up now. Could this be a lump of molten silver? <laughs> it's very heavy. And I don't think it's lead because, uh, yeah, it's very hard and uh, it, it hasn't got the typical patina of lead. I will give it a clean at home and I will try this bit aluminium test <laughs> to see whether it's silver or not. This is 10 Pfennig, yeah, relatively modern and uh, they got an iron core. That's why they explode and <laughs> at the edges here because uh, the iron is coming through. And um, yeah, they give, give strange signals because on the top you have uh, brass. Um, and uh, yeah, the core is iron, so the machine doesn't know uh, <laughs> what uh, signal it should give, but you can recognize it. So um, the brass is still stronger than the iron signal. Today I found a piece of molten metal. I hope it's silver. It looks like it. Would be great. 10 Pfennig, modern money with an iron core. Ancient looking strange object. I hope I will be able to find out what it is. This looks ancient too. This has to be some kind of leather decoration again. I think this is a token. And here we have one, two, three, four, five Roman bronze coins. And this is find of today. It's uh, a Roman silver coin. Still can't believe it. What a great day. Yeah, a small amount of trash today. What a great day. I was finding one Roman coin after the other. And uh, last but not least, this beautiful Roman silver coin. Some ancient looking relics as well. I can't complain, it's uh, wonderful. Maybe uh, today's hunt uh, was the last time on this field uh, until late summer, because uh, the farmer said that he will seed in the field um, after rain and it predicted to rain this night so um, maybe I have to wait until late summer but it's not a problem because I have other sites to go and uh, yeah it's not a problem 
I hope you liked my video today and I hope you stay tuned on my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for that. I say goodbye for now. Happy hunting, good luck, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.